हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज नेहा हियर एंड वेलकम टू आदित्य किड्स एजुकेशन सो चिल्ड्रन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट कम्युनिकेबल डिजीज हाउ दे आर स्प्रेड एंड हाउ कैन वी प्रोटेक्ट अवर सेल्फ फ्रॉम दिस डिजीज सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट इज डिजीज डिजीज इज एन एबनॉर्मल कंडीशन इन व्हिच द बॉडी इज नॉट एबल टू फंक्शन प्रॉपरली disease can be caused by the malfunctioning of an organ or deficiency of some vitamins and minerals or through germs so now disease can be broadly classified into two types and they are non communicable disease and communicable disease we have already learned about non communicable disease and today we will learn about communicable disease so communicable diseases are spread from a sick person to other healthy person communicable diseases are caused by germs and may spread through air infected food and water direct contacts cuts in the skin or insects bites okay germs communicable diseases are spread by microbes or germs called bacteria protozoa and viruses so first we will see bacteria first of all do you know a fact of bacteria bacteria were among the first life forms to appear on the earth bacteria causes diseases like plague typhoid tuberculosis pneumonia and meningitis bacteria have a number of shapes ranging from spheres to rods and spirals as you can see in this picture next is protozoa protozoa cause diseases like malaria and amoebic dysentery this is a picture of yes protozoan okay the next one is malaria it is a disease and it is caused by protozoan which is carried by the female anopheles mosquito okay the next one is viruses so viruses are the smallest of all microbes viruses causes disease like common cold polio chicken pox measles and yes covid 19 so if the virus enter in the person's body then it will multiply itself and it will infect a person and one of the virus that is affected the whole world in present day is covid 19 that is corona virus these virus floats through air survive in water and even on the surface of your skin yes virus can be spread from one person to another by shaking hands and also when a person cough or sneeze so what is the prevention the first one is social distancing second one is using mask on your nose and mouth and third one is regularly washing your hands okay next one is disease caused by fungus and they are ringworm athlete's foot asthma and scabies now let us see what are the diseases that are caused through direct contact okay so many diseases like common cold chicken pox measles ringworm whooping cough spread through direct contact now let us see how communicable diseases are spread first is direct contact take an example if a person is suffering from disease like covid 19 and if a healthy person has a direct contact to the infected person like handshake then healthy person will also be affected by covid 19 next one is disease spread by air 
germs that causes disease like chicken pox, whooping cough, diphtheria, influenza and scarlet fever are present in the discharge from the nose and the mouth of a patient. This disease can spread through sneezing or coughing. Next one is indirect contact. It means we are not in the touch with infected person. But diseases like chicken pox, measles are spread through either clothing or other articles used by the sick person. Next is indirect contact. It means we are not in the touch with infected person but diseases like chicken pox, measles are spread through either clothing or other articles used by the sick person. Okay. Next one is disease through infected food and water. So disease like Typhoid, cholera, diarrhea, polio, jaundice spread by eating infected food and drinking polluted water. Flies and cockroaches carry germs from sewers and contaminate our food and water. Okay. Now the next one is through mosquitoes and insects. This is like malaria, yellow fever, plague, dengue and kalahazar are caused by blood sucking insects like mosquitoes, flus, bugs and sand flies. And you know that malaria is caused by a protozoan which is carried by yes female anaphilis mosquito. When the mosquito bites a person suffering from malaria, the protozoa are sucked up with the blood and when this mosquito bites uh, another healthy person the protozoa are injected into the person's blood and it cause malaria okay and the last one is rabidal animals it means if an animal like dog monkeys bite a healthy person then he can suffer from disease like rabies Okay, so now children we have studied all about disease and how they are spread. But what are the prevention for communicable disease? Let's see. We should make efforts to prevent the breeding of germs. First one is house should be kept clean. Houses should be airy and open. Fresh air and sunlight are the natural disinfects. A supply of a clean and germ-free water for drinking and cooking is essential for the health. Next one is toilet and bathroom must be clean and disinfected regularly. Use a mosquito net or mosquito repellent at night. And the most important is, yes, vaccination. Vaccination is another way of protecting ourselves by acquiring immunity against certain diseases. We must get ourselves vaccinated as a protection against these diseases. There are some national programs to eradicate communicable diseases. So children, if we take care of ourselves and our surrounding, we can stay healthy. Yes. And one more important message. Prevention is better than cure. Yes. So this was all about disease.